Mark Nemchak claims to collect charity money for 9-11 victims, but instead keeps the cash. All the evidence. Oh, look, there's your money in your little uh, bucket there. Ho -ho. So I think uh, I think I wouldn't uh, wish Parkinson's on anybody, but if I was, Mark would be right at the top of the list. And I just can't stand the guy or anything he's done. Excuse me. Name is Mark Nemchek, right? Huh? Name is Mark Nemchek. Well, Mark, what's it up? Me. What? Uh, no reason. So this is this is kind of a test to see where you fall on the stolen valor thing. Is this guy going too far with Mark, or just enough? Me knowing Mark, I uh, there were some cringeworthy moments in this thing. But Mark brought all that on himself, and Mark is just out there doing it still. He's still just scamming people. Do you know who he is? Every conversation, I don't care what anyone is. Do you know who he is? Do you know who he is? You're Mark and Imshik. No, Admit not. it. No. Yes. No. Yes. That's him. Oh, yeah. That's him in the wheelchair. And you're going to prison this time. Uh, just a scammer and a con man his entire life. Just a terrible, terrible guy. He was busted 10 years ago in a 9-11 charity fraud in New Jersey. Made $120,000. It was a national news story. You can read all about him. Then he came out here. This video, the uh, guy that shot this of Nemchek when he got him in a Walgreens recognized him in there, Mark Anthony Nemchek. Now both Nemchek and his business partner have felony records for financial fraud. Name is Mark Nemchek, right? Huh? Name is Mark Nemchek? Well, Mark, what's it up? Me. What? Uh, no reason. Mark Nemchek. None other than Mark Anthony Nemchek. Mark Nemchek and Thomas Scalgione had a truck which they painted with 9-11 themes. That guy? Yeah. That guy? Yeah. He never served, sir. I can prove it. That state's attorney general is now suing the bogus seal for charity fraud. Investigator Mike Mather says the fake seal made a name for himself with an eye-catching pickup truck. And that bug-witted moron took uh, a truck and painted it red, the 9-11 truck. I mean, it was famous it went everywhere he and this time you're gonna go to prison he calls it the ground zero truck a fire engine red ford painted with the names of police officers and firefighters who died on 9 11 on the back an anti-islam message on the rear window a navy seal decal the new jersey license plate also says seal mark why did you lie about being a u.s navy seal why did you lie about that why did you lie about being a U.S. Navy SEAL? The New Jersey Attorney General says Mark Nemchak claims to collect charity money for 9-11 victims, but instead keeps the cash. Because I have all the evidence. Oh, look, there's your money in your little uh, bucket there. Oh, yeah. Well, come on. Why don't you get the fuck out of here? Come and get me. Come and get me. Yeah, I will. Come and get me. Retired SEAL Don Shipley knew Nemchak was a fake more than a year ago and said so on his popular YouTube channel. Mark is a phony SEAL. There is no listing of him in a database. And I've talked to that moron before. Uh, Mark claims to be an Annapolis graduate, Naval Academy. Uh, he claims to be a three-tour Vietnam vet, Navy SEAL at uh, SEAL Team 2, and of course, he also claims covert black ops. As Shipley has said many times before, and special warfare leaders have confirmed, there are no secret SEALs. The names of all men who have completed SEAL training are kept in a database. Stolen Valor also. Oh, no. Oh, yes. You gonna know Don Shipley? You know Don Shipley? He yeah, knows know you. Don. He knows you. He knows you have stolen valor. What really angers Shipley is how Nemchek is a felon and now accused of charity fraud, all while claiming seal honors. For the outspoken retired senior chief, this imposter left him nearly speechless. I've had enough. I am just... With all the names of all the dead uh, firefighters and police officers, all the first responders, it was a terrible, despicable act, but... 
Uh, worse than that, he put that despicable, disgusting Pastor Terry Jones in the back of that truck and let him preach all that Islamic uh, hatred stuff out of there. Being done under the seal trident, and that's exactly what it was. The seal trident. Now, I just didn't like the trident being up there. I didn't like that pastor in the back of it, and I didn't like any of it. And uh, so, Mark... Because of much of what I did to him, uh, got nailed. I went after him in a big way, jungle cat style. They seized his truck. They they took his truck. Uh, they made him pay restitution for selling all the T-shirts and all the other 911 gee dunk shit he was doing to a tune of $121,000. He had to pay a monthly, and is still doing it, supposed to, monthly restitution to a 911 uh firefighter that he impersonated and stole my and to get away from all that mark moved to las vegas and i i kept after him even while he was out there this was a long time ago but he resurfaced and uh, one of the guys tracked him down and is just giving all this information up about mark uh, working fremont street and doing his uh doing his level best out there just to uh, make more friends and any of you that are in las vegas need to go visit mark here's all the details of that oh that guy yeah, it caught up to him. Again, I went after Mark in uh, 2011 when Mark was claiming to be a uh, Navy SEAL, Naval Academy graduate, Vietnam vet, black ops guy. And he was also claiming to be in, uh, in Tower 2 of the World Trade Center. Ever been convicted of a crime? Huh? Ever been convicted of a crime? No. No? No. He's sentenced for collecting thousands of dollars in money that they falsely claimed was going to go to the victims of 9-11. Mark Nimchik and Thomas Scalgione had a truck which they painted with 9-11 themes and took to commemorative events at which they collected money and sold t-shirts telling people the proceeds were going to 9-11 victims. None of the money ever went to a victim. This time you're going down. For what? For fraud and theft. Yeah, the same mother. thing you were already convicted of in 2013, no, motherfucker. Never... Blaney spared Nimchik a jail term, citing the 67-year-old's failing health. Because the last time, the judge didn't put you in prison because of your Parkinson's and your diabetes, right? I also do agree with the uh, Attorney General in this case. Uh, there is a risk that the defendant will commit another offense. And you go into prison this time. Because I have all the evidence. Oh, look, there's your money in your little uh, bucket there. Ho oh, ho. Yeah. Come on. Is your name Mark Nemchek? What are you doing? I'm filming you. Because you're a fucking criminal. So you go fuck yourself. I didn't get nothing. You're Mark Nemchek. No, I'm not. Admit it. No. Yes. No. Yes. And you go into prison this time. Because I have all the evidence. Oh, look, there's your money in your little uh, bucket. Let me get some more evidence of your the uh, money in there. You're going to prison this time. Mark was kicked out of the Navy after six weeks for claiming he couldn't. He was allergic to wool. He couldn't wear his uniform because it was made out of wool. And that didn't stop Mark from claiming to be SEAL Team 6, CIA, Vietnam, the whole bit. And then 9-11 happened. Mark pulled his spectacular stunt of all, the 9-11 truck, and all the names of the firefighters and first responders. Mark is a cad son of a bitch. These American flags wearing a 9-11 first responder bulletproof vest in that wheelchair, and... Uh, why did you lie about being the U.S. Navy SEAL? Stolen valor. Stolen valor. Go go after that fucking Nemchek in uh, Las Vegas if you can find the time down there. I'll see ya. Uh, there is a risk that the defendant will commit another offense. You like filming, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs>